Hello everybody and welcome to part 6 of the Blender 2.80 Absolute Beginners course. Um, this part will be actually pretty entertaining, I hope, and definitely shorter than the previous one. Uh, so I'll, I'm gonna explain those few interesting icons here. Before I do that, I will just quickly duplicate uh, our beloved cube a couple of times. So I'm pressing Shift uh, D keys. Just so we have a few more objects like this. And yeah, let's let's just jump into it right now. So. Uh, you might have already tried clicking those by yourself and you can see by doing that the the way stuff is displayed here in the 3d viewport changes so um, well that's pretty self-explanatory but uh, yeah blender allows us to display the things we see in, in different ways and most interesting would be the rendered view you could see here because it makes the those little elements I didn't uh, explain before uh, actually work. So this little element you always see visible when you launch Blender, this is a, a lamp. So when you press G and move it around and have the render, rendered view uh, enabled here, you could see it actually makes things way more interesting. Uh, it actually casts light and the shadows that are generated by the objects around here are also uh, happening in real time. If I add a plane object, move it downwards and scale up a little bit more, you can see all of this happening right pretty cool eh? Uh, when you duplicate the lamp it actually becomes even more interesting when I duplicate it again whoa it's it's actually becoming very interesting from what we can have just with a few cubes and one plane object and three duplicated lamps right um, you might want to have this even more interesting so those lines we see they they kind of make it a little bit uh, a little ugly so we can disable all of them by clicking this icon here uh, the problem is now when I select the objects click on them I don't see uh, if, if I have anything selected at all if I press G I can I can check or if I pr press R I can see if there's anything selected, but uh, this this icon just just disables all those help helper elements like gizmos and 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 stuff. So you can see I can have the object selected, but when I disable the overlays, that's how it's called professionally. Um, everything disappears, and we have just our our uh, geometry and and shadows and lights. But still we can we can change the modes here so um, yeah so you can see each each of those modes has its purpose I would say if you wanna do um, if you want to focus on 3d modeling and an object alignment only then going to the standard mode is is the most wise thing to do because you don't have the unnecessary distractions happening in the screen um, this mode it's called look dev it's more usable when you're doing the, 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 the materials and shading but we'll get into that later and so I would say for us at this point two modes most important modes would be this uh, solid one and the rendered view um, to switch between the render modes there is also a shortcut for that and you just press the Z key and you will have this interesting uh, thing appearing which is called a pie menu this is 
how we call those in Blender. Uh, I mean, not only Blender, in other 3D applications as well, but by pressing the Z key, you have a Pi menu available, and here you can choose different modes uh, quicker. Sim it's simple as that. You don't have to click them around in here, just press Z, and you can very quickly switch between the modes. Uh, a wireframe mode is also useful, especially later when we'll be uh, using the edit mode. So it kind of makes uh, only the, the necessary things we need visible. Um, when you use a solid mode, you can also enable an X-ray effect by pressing this button here, which is also also useful uh, wh while working in, in the edit mode later. I just want to let you know that it's all available here. And for the X-ray, um, the shortcut you see here is, is wrong. I hope it's going to be fixed in the later <laughs> Blender versions. But to make it avail uh, to enable it, you just hold Alt key and press Z. So a single Z stands for different uh, display modes, and Alt Z, depending on the on the mode you're, you've selected. So in the wireframe, it works. So I'm pressing Alt and Z. It also works in solid mode but it doesn't work in the rendered. So you can see um, an error displaying here below. And it doesn't work in the look dev, at least for now. I hope maybe later it works. Um, when you click, uh, when you hover and click on this uh, bar here, you can also see uh, those multiple options. I recommend playing around with them in general. Uh, they you, you can choose what's actually visible with the overlays enabled because when they are disabled doesn't matter what you set up here everything is disabled but when you dis uh, when you enable them you can still uh, play around and and decide what's going to be visible so perhaps you don't want a grid to be visible perhaps you would like to have the z axis visible all the time when you work um, perhaps you would like the grid to be of different scale, like 0.1. So now, when you when you zoom in, I think it yeah it divides more. Um, yeah, it's it's up to you. You can you can uh, even disable the the 2D cursor from from the visibility, which wasn't possible. Uh, in the previous Blender versions. So that's pretty cool. And yeah, I hope this this uh, video is more entertaining and you can actually, uh, by playing with those lights around, uh, the whole uh, education process uh, will become much more interesting to you at right now because uh, if you combine it with those very easy trees and, and stuff we did a couple of videos ago and you, you, you add a few lamps like this, you don't have to add them. I mean, of course, you can press Shift A and select light and, and now play around and have more a little bit more freedom, but you can just duplicate them by pressing Shift Z and that also does the trick. So, yeah now I think you can already see that those very very uh, theoretical things we've learned uh, start to make much more sense and in the next videos I think you're gonna see that even more so thanks for watching and see you in the next part